You thought you knew buttery Bulgaria. You were absolutely incorrect, my good man. You don't know the Bulgaria or the buttery Bulgarian biscuits that are served daily to our campaigning soldiers as they take city after city from our opponents. Yes, that's right. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Just roll with it! That's my philosophy. That's my philosophy. So, as of last time, we pretty much almost... Not 100% completely took over Saudi Arabia. That's right. So that's what we're doing right now. Is we're gonna we're gonna come to the rest of a uh, good old Saudi Arabia. We're bringing this little horseman around here, and he's gonna move up into Rubal Kali. Actually, I might have to check my dudes first. Improved hull design. Okay, good. Actually, you know what? We could just take this tank. Yeah, let's just take the tank in, bring the tank back, take three turns to make that full movement. Take him, yeah, because it would take him like five turns to do all that anyway. No big deal. Looks good, looks good. And we will allow Palestine to maintain its position as it is. Spread quite deftly, if I do say so myself. All right. Looking good, looking good, sweet Bul Bulgaria. Oh my god, I didn't say with the buttery part. That just did not roll off the tongue at all. Mm, at all. Alright, applied physics. More applied physics. Even more applied physics. Apparently applied physics is the only thing I can really get here. Alright, well let's do some war planes. Applied physics, applied physics. War planes. Applied physics. <laughs> war planes. War planes, applied physics, and most beautifully, applied physics. How long is it going to take uh, war planes? 13 tanks? Alright, so they'll pretty much finish around the same time. I am perfectly okay with that. Alright, and look at our industrial production. It has gone up to 853. That is right. Oh my god, man. This is just. This is turning out really well. I'm very much enjoying the direction that Bulgaria has taken over the past couple of years. Now, of course, it took quite a bit of finagling and conquest, but we are where we are, and I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, the one thing I wish we could get more of is manpower. We never seem to have enough. I bitch about it every single video. That's right, because that is how I roll, and we ran out of gas. God damn it! <laughs> What's a man supposed to do with so little gas in this area? It, which is hilarious, because we're in the Middle East, and I can't get gas. My god, what a joke. Anyway, so, I'm thinking our next target, assuming the Ottoman, or sorry, Turkey doesn't go back to war with us, um, which I think, yeah, see, they're, they're not at war with us right now. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of bringing down Egypt in the name of sweet Bulgaria. Now, if the French or the English decide to get involved in that region, which undoubtedly they will, we do not have the capacity to fight them. So if they do that, we're shit out of luck, ladies and gentlemen. But hopefully they don't. And hopefully we will. Another turn and another one bites the dust. Ah. They get, they get more manpower, more manpower, yep, sweet, more manpower, 50 more. Food processing plant completed, and we have annexed Saudi Arabia. Congratulations, everyone. Yep, yep, that is that is another powerful power that has been buried under our boot. That's right. And this one actually has oil reserves, which is good. Very, very good. If I do say so myself. And they've actually become part of Bulgaria now. Cool. Cool. By the way, I want to take a look at um, our actual political balance system and our stability. Look at that. Despite all the areas we've taken because of our absolutely ridiculous amount of money, we have very, very high uh, stability. Despite having spread our empire from here all the way to here. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. There's a very diverse amount of people in these regions, and even then, like, we, 
the majority of people who make up this country aren't even uh, Bulgarian. Look at that. 88% of the population is not even Bulgarian. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But it is what it is. And as long as things remain stable, who really gives a rat's ass? I know I don't. Alright, so what else do we need to do? Are we losing money? I feel like we are. Yeah, we're losing money. If it says zero, you're losing money. What's our food at? Okay, we're just producing enough. Our oil is producing well over. Our coal is producing well over. Our metal is producing well over. And our arms are not producing at all. So, interesting. Interesting things to point out there. Alright. What should it do? I don't know. Maybe we could build some medium tanks. We haven't built any of those. Ooh, they're pretty cheap in manpower. Self-propelled artillery. Ooh, interesting. Let's build us two medium tanks here in the capital city. That's right. We're moving up with the rest of the world, sweet Bulgaria is. That's right. What else we got here? We could industrialize this place a bit more, I think. Like, this one... Actually, let's build that Air Force Academy and that Military Academy. And that medical center. What the hell? <laughs> We've been building so much stuff out of that uh, city there, even, even though it doesn't have much. Uh, Air Force Academy. What else do we need to do? Um, large factory upgrade. Large factory upgrade. Oh, wow. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. Damn it. Istanbul, you're supposed to be like a really major city in the world, yet you don't have a bunch of basic necessities. What have I been doing this whole time? Jesus. Alright, what else we got? Scroll down, of course. No Air Force Academy. No Military Academy. No Food Processing Plant. Interesting. Uh, no Medical Center. No Research Facility. Interesting, interesting. Build them all for sweet buttery Bulgaria. We need it. We must have it done. Ah, we have finally entered the modern age with our very own medium tank. Division. That's right. Isn't that just sexy? Look at that. 132.52 with 30 health. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Now we're ready to take on our opponents. Well, sort of. We were already kind of ready because, you know, we're already at war and doing things. But now we have a cool tank to do it with. Not to say that these tanks weren't cool, but, you know, you get it. You catch my drift. They weren't quite up to the plate as they should have been. So, I'm thinking about invading the Trucial States. It has a pretty decent oil production, like 50 oil, so we would literally increase our oil production by like 20%. So yeah, we're gonna go take that over. Declare war and move on the Trucial States. Show them that we are not good people, but really, we are just trying to survive in a tumultuous world. Yes, that's what we'll call it. Okay. These, these, I noticed these, these turns are starting to take a long time to end. Oh, sweet. We finished our second Dreadnought. Alright. Okay. Alright. Annex their territories, of course. Why? What else would we do? Alright, good. So, now we have a lot of oil production in the Middle East by taking over the Trucial States. It will get back up to gear. We'll have to give it a little bit of time. But still, we have great oil production there. And that is going to benefit us greatly in the future. Now, another opponent I've been considering is Iran. Iran is definitely a force to be reckoned with just because they have a lot of infantry. And one might argue that they are actually a bigger army than us when pulled together in singular areas. Now this may possibly be the case, but I am not afraid of challenge. Now the one concern that would come with taking over Iran is opening up a front with uh, British India should the Indians be defeated by the British, which is not entirely impossible or even improbable. Now, the Indian armies, obviously, are pretty damn powerful, and they're doing a pretty damn good job at kicking the British out of their country. So that should also be noted. Let's see. 
and we're not at war actually we are at war with them so by opening a front with them we would actually be at obviously we would be at war with them however uh, with the majority of their forces posted in the east there's actually a pretty good chance that we could take India but again there comes possibilities of issues we would thus be fighting the Chinese who have not been slumbering <laughs> <laughs> by any means of the imagination, as you can tell with them rolling around with heavy tanks. Having established Manchuria and pretty much deftly beaten the Japanese out of control of the Asian mainland there. Now, of course, they still have this region here, which is Vanin. But let's be honest, the, J the Chinese could pretty much kick them out whenever they felt like it. They're just not doing that. Now, the Japanese still maintain naval superiority in the region, of course. Uh, there's no real surprise there. The United States, for some reason, hasn't just come in with its fleet and wiped them out. There's actually a pretty good chance the Japanese have defeated the American fleet. Uh, and that could very possibly explain why... Okay, I did not see this, and this is an interesting state of affairs. It looks like the Japanese have invaded Canada. That's right. And Italy has invaded Canada. Did they? And Germany has invaded the United States. Oh my goodness. We need to jump on this bandwagon, ladies and gentlemen. If we have naval dominance, and the United States is basically just taking a hit here, we could arguably get some pieces of American land. Um, which undoubtedly would benefit us greatly. I'm very surprised though that the American forces are not doing better against the Germans. The Germans don't have that many men there. The Americans on the other hand have an absolutely gigantic uh, garrison force but it does if you look it looks like their arms are all very very low uh, so that could explain that. All in all I think the Germans and the Italians are gonna get kicked out of Canada and America respectively um, so I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna take a risk with that one yeah probably not so back over here to Europe it, it's crazy they haven't even dealt with the problem in France down here they haven't dealt with France they haven't dealt with all these other countries in Africa they just went straight for the United States which you know is probably a good idea because if the United States is given time to build up and prepare they tend to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the phrase, uh, more like it, a total pain in the ass? Yes, that sounds about right. Alright. In my turn. Come on now. Taking your sweet time. Well, it looks like the Germans have declared war again on Turkey without telling us the sneaky bastards. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to snake these lands as quick as possible from the Germans before they get a chance to take it over for themselves. Because, I mean, come on, they've already screwed me in multiple areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All these different areas that I've been completely boned by the Germans because they're like, oh, look at this, this is pretty land, yeah. And then just came in and took my shit. I'm not happy about that. And that is something that we are going to, we are rectifying right as we speak. And also, uh, we need more farms. I need way more farms. Because <laughs> we're starting to run low on food, or at least our food production is starting to, uh, yeah, as you can see, we're only nine away. So yeah, that's something that we're going to have to curb, like, now. All right, so we're going to take this over, we're going to take that over, we're going to do a bunch of things, accomplish things, get things done. That's what we do. The Bulgarians get shit done, man. We're good at that. We're real good at that. German bastards! How the hell did their little infantry beat my tank? I call shenanigans! Shenanigans, I say! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things happened. Whatever. Anyway, as I was saying, shenanigans! Seriously. I had 400 to their 200, yet they beat me here? Hmm. Bullshit! I call crippling piles of anal bullshit. That's right. Stupid. Stupid! Whatever. <sighs> the Germans continually thwart my plans of world domination. 
or even just pieces of land. Come on, it's like I'm not I mean, like like why why are you being so gimmicky? Why are you being why are you being so difficult? Difficult Germany. We're supposed to be friends here. Yet you coming into my areas of uh, influence and taking over all my land. It's not cool, bruh. It's not cool at all. Check out these German tanks. Look at that. The German military is just ridiculous right now. Like, I don't even... Yeah, I don't even know how we're going to compete. If, like, say, hypothetically... I'm not saying this out loud, Germany. But, if we were to go to war again, you know, against each other, I don't know how I would deal with you. You're too big, buddy. You're way too big. You're like the big guy on the playground. Just beating the shit out of people because that's what you do. That's what you feel like doing. You got anger problems, Germany. You should really deal with that stuff before you take it out on the world politics system. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, so we've completed research on applied physics. Good. Good. Germany has granted military access to Russia. Okay. Good, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know how to feel about that one. But frankly, I don't really care. Alright, warplanes. Full metal aircraft. Full metal aircraft. Full metal aircraft. Sonar. 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 <laughs> Sonar. <laughs> One more. Sonar. There we go. Okay. Alright, full metal aircraft. Full metal aircraft. Alright, so it's going to take 24 turns on full metal aircraft. Don't worry. Once Warplanes is done, we'll throw all that into full metal aircraft. Alright, so we're going to send our tanks over to the east since we are again at war with Turkey. There's no reason to deny the fact that they are most certainly a threat. Also, we are going to use our fresh navy. That's right. We're going to make it exit the port and move to Kavarna Bay. Go, go, my sweet... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fleet of Doom. That's what it is. Yeah, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. All right, so, what are we going to do? We're going to move our fleet here first. Or not. There we go. Alright, it's going to go to the Gulf of Adalia. And then we're going to move it to the Levantine Sea. We're going to take out all of our opponents in the region, since uh, for some reason Italy and Germany and, you know, the guys who actually have really large fleets don't seem to want to do it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we are also going to move our troop transports yeah, to the Eastern Mediterranean so that we can take over Cyprus. That's right. Show the Turks once and for all who's the real boss. Alright, so our fleet is engaged with the French aircraft carrier in the Levantine Sea. And we've also got our army ready to drop on Cyprus. That's right. Boom, we're about to take this ish. And oh my god, here comes Germany to once again effectively and annoyingly ruin my day. That's right. They just, they just know exactly what I don't want them to do, and they do it anyway. Fuck you, Germany, man! Come on! <laughs> what do you, why are you so against my dominance in the Middle East? Like, seriously. I just, I just wanna be, I wanna be the, I wanna be the guy, man. I just wanna be the guy. Burma left that Australia declared war on those people, whatever. And who established Lebanon? Obviously someone who's at war with upper Volta in France and the Americas. Alright, seems like a nice group of people. And also, Palestine is about to get rolled, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, positively rolled. Also, we're going to move like all of our forces up. Because hopefully the Germans fail in their attack uh, against the Turks. Off of pure numbers alone. Uh, so I can be happy again. Because currently, I am not happy. <laughs> I am not happy one bit. These dirty bastards. Anyway... This has been Commissar Bro playing Making History 2 War of the World. If you like this game, be sure to support the developers on Steam or their website at making-history.com. That's right. Or you can just play the games and other stuff. I don't know, you can watch me and play them, I guess, if that's really a fancy. If you uh, find that to be an interesting way to pass time and spend your hobbies, then you should most certainly do that. Anyway... It's been coming up, bro. And I'll see all you amazing people next time. Again.